I'm Frank, and I'm an engineer. Let's deconstruct a PVC fence installation by following this project by the South Florida company, XL Fencing. XL Fencing assembles the PVC materials we'll need for our project and delivers them to the job site. The site is cleaned and prepared for installation of the first post. A post hole digger is used to dig the required footings, being careful not to interfere with underground pipes and utilities. Footings are needed to withstand code minimum wind forces. The post is set to a prescribed depth and measured so the notch for the bottom rail sits per the design professional's fence plan. You can also call 811 before beginning the project to have underground utilities located. High strength concrete bag mix is poured into the hole to hold the post in place. Water will be used after installation to activate and harden the concrete. A string line is used to set the fence posts in line with each other and level with the surrounding area. Holes are dug for the posts that will surround the gate. The plans require that PVC post to be reinforced with an aluminum I-beam to prevent the post from sagging from the weight of the swinging gate. It's discovered that a sprinkler line interferes with the post that will support the gate. The post will have to be cut to be installed around the sprinkler pipe. After discussions on how to proceed, it is agreed to cut and notch the post on the weak side of the I-beam where only the I-beam flanges will be cut. The modified post fits and is leveled and set with bag mix concrete. The second gate post is measured to provide just enough room for the gate to open and close and also set in concrete mix. A bottom rail is set in the open notches of the fence posts to hold the tongue and groove slats. Posts are checked and tamped in place for final alignment. The fence slats are set with the tongue into the groove until the end slat is reached. This slat is less than a full board and will have to be cut to fit. An end strip helps lock everything together. The process is repeated for the other side of the fence. Self-closing hinges are installed on the gate, which is pre-made in the shop with the same components as the fence. Self-tapping metal screws are used to penetrate and secure the hinges. The installed gate is then leveled with a mechanism on the adjustable hinges. Both sides of the gate latch are installed in the same manner, screwing the latch pieces directly to the PVC material. Final adjustments are made and the crew cleans up for the next job. Thanks again to XL Fencing. Watch more installation videos, download this plan, and purchase engineer certified copies for permitting on the engineeringplans.com network. Find links in the video description. This video is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of engineering, nor is this information intended to be used at any specific address. Always consult a design professional for proper design codes, safety, and egress requirements before installation.